Hello students, welcome to Engineers Academy. Now we are going to solve this problem from chapter 6, Hyperostatics. The problem says that determine the force in each member of the truss and state if the members are in tension or compression. So we are going to solve this particular problem by using the method of joints. So we will start from this joint D. Since at joint D we have only two uh, members in which the forces are unknown, right? So we have this uh, DE member force which is unknown and this CD member force which is unknown. So we have two equations and two unknowns. So we can start the our solution from this joint D. So let's say that we start from joint D and let's say that the force in member CD is the tension force. Let's say that CD member is in tension. So its force will be acting away from that joint D. So let's say this is FCD. And let's say that this DE member is in compression. So let's say this is FDE. So if First of all, we need to find the angle of FDE with FCD or with the vertical. So let's say that this angle is theta. So to find this theta, we can apply tan theta to this small triangle or we can apply tan theta to this whole uh, large triangle. Since this DEC and this DAB, both of these triangles are similar triangles. So we can apply tan theta. So tan theta will be equal to this 6 meters divided by this 4 plus 4 which is 8. So if we take 10 inverse, so we will be able to find that theta. So 10 inverse 6 divided by 8 gives us 36.87 approximately. So theta is, or we can say that it is 36. 87 degrees. So now if I resolve this uh, FDE force into its components, so it will have two components, it will have one component which will be acting in this direction like this and it will have one component which will be acting vertically upward like this. So since the angle is made with this component, so this one is the cos component and this one is the sine component. Now if I apply the summation of forces along x equals to 0, so as we can see that this sine component of FDE is acting in the positive y x direction. If this is my positive x direction, if this is my positive, if this is our positive x and y direction. So FDE sine of theta, FDE sine of theta and theta is 36.87 minus this 600 Newton this is equal to 0 and if I bring this to the other side so it will become positive. So FDE will be equal to 600 divided by sine of this angle. So 600 divided by sine of 36.87 this gives us FDE equals to approximately 1000 Newton. So FDE is 1000 Newton or we can say that it is 1 kilonewton. And the sign is positive, so this means that the assumed direction is accurate. So this means that, that this FDE is acting towards this joint D. So it means that it is compressive force. And in other words, we can say that this DE member is in compression. Similarly, if I apply the summation of forces along Y equals to 0, this is our positive Y direction. So this FCD is acting in the positive Y direction. So I will write FCD minus this cos component. Uh, sorry, this FCD is acting in the downward direction. So I will write minus and this cos component of FDE is acting in the positive y direction. So I will write plus FDE and FDE is 1000 Newton and cos of that 36.87. So this purple one is the component of this FDE and it is the cos component and it is acting in the positive y direction. So this is equal to 0 and if I bring this FCD to the other side of equation, so FCD 
is equal to the cost component of FDE. So, 1000 cause of 36.87, this gives us 799.99. So, FCD is approximately 800 Newton. So, now we know FDE, now we know FCD. So, if we represent those forces at joint C, so that FCD force will be acting away from this joint C since FCD, uh, FCD is the tension force and this is FCD, this uh, pink one. So, we can say that this is FCD is in tension. So, if FCD is in tension, so that uh, FCD, the, the CD member will apply that same tension force on this joint C as well. So, that FCD force will be acting away from this joint C as well. So, this is that FCD and its magnitude is 800 Newton. And let us assume that this BC member is in tension as well. So, let us say that its force is acting away. Let us say this is FBC. And let us say that this CE member is in compression. So, its force will be acting towards this joint C if it is in compression. So, this is F C E. Now, if we consider that joint C for analysis. So, if we apply the summation of forces along X equals to 0. And if this is our positive x direction, so F C E is acting in the positive x. So, I will write F C E minus this 900. This will be equal to 0 or we can say that F C E is equal to 900 Newton. And F C E is acting towards this joint C. So, this means that it is the compressive force since we get positive sign here. So, the assumed direction was accurate. Similarly, if we apply the summation of forces along y equals to 0, this is our positive y direction. So, this FBC is acting in the negative y and this FCD is acting in the positive y. So, I will write plus 800, this is the, it has a magnitude of 800 and this is acting in the negative y. So, I will write minus FBC and this is equal to 0. And we can say that FBC is equal to FCD which is 800 Newton. And as we have assumed that this FBC is acting away from this joint C, so this means that it is the tension force. So, FBC is in tension, the BC member is in tension. Now, we know this FCE, so that this FCE force will also act towards this joint E as well. So, we will have that FCE force acting here. And similarly, that FDE force is compressive. So, again, it will be acting towards this joint E. And let us assume that this BE member is, let us say, in tension. And let us say that this AE member is in compression, let us say. Now, to find the forces at this joint E, we are going to consider two oblique axes. So, one axis parallel to this AE member and another axis is perpendicular to this AE member. So, now let us say that uh, this is my Y dash axis which is uh, perpendicular to this AE member, sorry, parallel to this AE member and let us say that this is my axis which is perpendicular to that EE member, right? So, let us say this is perpendicular to that EE member and let me place it here. So, let us say this is, let us say this is Y dash and let us say this is X dash. Now, if I place these forces, let us say this is uh, that FDE, this is FDE, this one is FBE, this one is FCE and this one is FAE.
so this is fde and its magnitude is 1000 newton so i will write its magnitude only this one is fce its magnitude is 900 newton and these two are unknown so this is f e e and this one is f b e now we are given this angle we can find this angle so let's say this angle is alpha so we can write that this theta i can write that this theta plus alpha plus this 90 degree this will be equal to 180 so let me write that theta plus alpha plus 90 degree equals to 180 degree since these are the angles of a triangle and we can write that alpha is equal to 180 minus 90 minus theta and theta is 36.87 degrees so this 180 minus 90 is 90 and 90 minus uh, 36.87 so this is 53.13 so that alpha angle is 53.13 and if we look into that alpha angle so this is that fde uh, which is parallel to the de member so it is going to make angle uh, alpha with uh, this ec member or this fce this is that fce so this is that alpha angle so this is 53.13 and this is that 900 newton now we can see that uh, this DEC triangle and this ECB triangle or BCE triangle, both of these are similar triangles. So if this angle is alpha, then this angle is also alpha. So alpha, we know alpha. So this means that the angle between that FCE force and FBE force will be alpha as well, right? So this means that this angle is also alpha. This whole angle is also alpha and its magnitude is 53.13 so if we want to find the angle of this fbe with this axis is this y dash axis is so we can find it right so this is beta so we can write that beta plus alpha and plus alpha this is equal to 180 so we can write that beta is equal to 180 minus 2 times alpha and 180 minus uh, 2 times alpha 53.13 gives us 73.74 degree so this is 73.74 degree this is beta so now we know beta this is 73.74 degrees so once we know the angles of this 900 newton and the angle of this fbe with y dash axis so now we can resolve these forces so this 900 newton force will have one component which will be acting in this direction that is towards the negative y dash like this so this is the cos component of that 900 newton let me draw it here somewhere here so we can say that this is 900 cos of 53.13 let me write it here 900 cos of that alpha and similarly it will have one component which will be acting in this direction like this this one will be the sine component so this one will be 900 sine of 53.13 degrees similarly if we resolve this fbe into its component so it will have one component in this direction this one will be the cos component and it will have one component which will be acting towards the positive x dash so this one is the sine component now if i apply if i consider that join e and if we apply the summation of forces along x dash axis is equals to zero so as we can see that this one is the sine component of fbe so i can write that fbe sine of 73.74 degrees minus this sine component of 900 so minus 900 sine of 53.13 this will be equal to 
zero since we have only two components which are acting along the x dash so from this if i bring this to the other side so it will become positive and if i divide both side by sine 73.74 so we will get that uh, be member force so this is 900 sine of 53.13 divided by sine of 73.74 this is approximately 750 newtons so f b e is 750 newtons and since the sign is positive so this means that the assumed direction is accurate and f b e is acting away from the joint e so it means that it is the tension force similarly if we apply the summation of forces along y dash axis is equals to zero so this cos component of FBE is acting in the negative y dash. So I will write minus FBE is 750. So 750 cos of 73.74 plus this 1000 Newton. This 1000, this is that 1000 Newton, right? So I will write plus and this is that FDE. So I will write plus 1000 and then uh, this cos component of this 900 newton so this is again it is acting in the negative this 1000 newton is acting in the negative y as well so i will write minus and minus 9, 900 cos of alpha and alpha is 53.13 and this fae is acting in the positive y so i will write plus fae so this is equal to 0 minus 750 cos of 73.74 minus 1000 minus 900 cos of 53.11 so from this we get minus 1750 approximately so minus 1750 plus fae equals to 0 or we can say that fae equals to 1750 newton and since fae is acting towards their joint e so this means that it is the compressive force and that ae member is in compression so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope you people would have understood this problem solution kindly subscribe my channel and like this video if you people want me to solve such more problems from engineering statics by hibbler